Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Joseph Dutoy, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2012 Police Award Ceremony and Memorial Service. Today we pay tribute to all of our officers, present and fallen. I'd like to help have you help yourself to any refreshments in the back, and I would just like to give you a reminder to please turn off your cell phones. At this time, we'd like to have Chaplain Darlene Hodges come forward and present the invocation. Please bow your heads for prayer. Father in heaven, you said in your word in Romans 13, everyone must submit to govern authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist are instituted by God. As these men and women have been placed in the position of an officer in this city, it was not by accident. So we thank you, God, for them. And in honor of their submission and obedience, Lord, we lift them up, all of them, and their families for their achievements. We thank you for the courage, the strength, the wisdom, and protection you have given to them as they have served and accomplished above and beyond their duties. You said in Psalms, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I pray as this is true in their lives, that according to your word, that no harm would befall them, no disaster would come near their homes or their families, that you will be a shield to them and command your angels concerning them to guard them in all their ways. We ask you to continue to bless and protect them and their families as they continue to serve and protect the families of this city. Help them to show your love and compassion as they serve and protect others. As they acknowledge your name, be with them in trouble and deliver them and honor them with long life, showing them your salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want to thank everyone for coming today. This is a, a really special day every year that we take the, the opportunity to honor the, the brave acts of, of many of our officers out there in the street that have... Uh, served the community and to remember the officers that have given their lives in service to this community. I want to take a second to recognize some of the dignitaries that, have, uh, that are with us today. Uh, family and friends of Sean Stennett, uh, Eric and Cheryl Scott, son and daughter of Leon Scott, Mary Hines, sister of Gary McCullen, Chief Kevin Kratz from BV Township, under Sheriff Bob Carl, Saginaw County Sheriff's Department, Chief Oten from Carlton Township, Chief Don Passell from Saginaw Township, Prosecutor Mike Thomas, uh, Tom McIntyre from uh, Central Dispatch 911, Chief Kosis from Thomas Township, Sergeant Mike Jarabek representing uh, Delta Public Safety Department. Uh, I saw. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, Judge Borchard, Judge Meter, both from Saginaw Courts, and APL, A, excuse me, APA Paul Furman. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming, and uh, I won't bore you any longer. Uh, we'll get on with the program. It's my honor to uh, represent Greg Branch, Mayor of City of Saginaw, today, and the City Council. And here's the proclamation. Whereas law enforcement officers of the city of Saginaw carry a tremendous responsibility of protecting the citizens and fulfill this responsibility tirelessly with courage and commitment while placing themselves in harm's way. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, hazards, responsibilities, and sacrifices of these officers as they serve the community, and whereas the brave men and women of the Saginaw City Police Department should be honored for the discipline and distinction they show in presenting the rights, freedom, and safety of this community, and whereas there is no way to completely show our appreciation for the services these men and women do for the community. These officers put their lives on the line to protect the citizens of the community and sometimes make the ultimate sacrifice. And whereas Congress and the President of the United States of America have designated May 13th to 19th, 2012 as National Police Week, 
calling upon all citizens to observe that week with appropriate ceremonies that our entire community may join in to commemorate <coughs> law enforcement officers, past and present, who, by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities, have rendered a dedicated service to the residents of the city of Saginaw. Now, therefore, I, Gregory L. Branch, on behalf of my fellow council members, do hereby proclaim May 11, 2012 as Police Memorial Day in the city of Saginaw and urge all citizens to observe this day in honor of those law enforcement officers who, through their courageous deeds, have made the ultimate sacrifice to their community or have become disabled in the performance of duty and let us recognize and pay respect to the survivors of our fallen heroes. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Saginaw to be affixed this 11th day of May in the year of our Lord, 2012. Signed, Gregory L. Branch, Mayor of the city of Saginaw. And council persons, Dennis Browning, Mayor Pro Tem, Annie Bench, Norman Braddock, Larry Caloris, Daniel Fitzpatrick, Floyd Clock, Amos O'Neill, and Andrew Went, and also Darnell Early, city manager. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fitzpatrick. I'd like to introduce now Mr. Phil Ludos, Director of Public Safety, City of Saginaw. Joe wants to promote me to a job. Um, I'll take assistant city manager, though. Um, it is wonderful to be back here. This is my second ceremony. For those of you in attendance, I think you need to understand how important this ceremony is, not just for the officers themselves, but really for the families who make sacrifices every day when their husbands and wives walk out the door to protect the citizens of Saginaw. Honors like this that are bestowed on police officers have a deep and long history. It goes all the way back to the presidency and when General George Washington led the armies that gave us our initial freedoms in this country. When he introduced the Medal of Valor and the Purple Heart, those medals have found their way through the services of both the armed forces and into law enforcement. And there's no better way to honor the men and women who do this daily than to honor them with these types of awards. I'm pleased to be part of that and I think it's important that when each of these people cross this stage that we realize that each day they walk out the door and put their lives on the line for one thing and one thing only, their commitment to the citizens and to the people of Saginaw. As we have approached some austere times uh, st citywide and both statewide, we find that we're nearly 3,000 officers less in the state of Michigan than there were 10 years ago. That's an awesome burden to put on the people that remain, but in sitting back for the past 16 months and watching what goes on in this department, I can attest to the fact that these are some of the finest men and women that I have ever had the privilege of being associated with. I honor them this day, and I thank you for being here and being present during this ceremony. It does mean a lot to them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ludos. And now I'd like to call the city manager, Mr. Early. We will never bring disgrace on this, our city by an act of dishonesty or cowardice. We will fight for the ideals and sacred things of the city, both alone and with many. We will revere and obey the city's laws and will do our best to incite like reverence and respect in those above us who are prone to annul them or set them at naught. We will strive increasingly to quicken the public's sense of civic duty. Thus, in all these ways, we will transmit this city not only not less, but greater and more beautiful than it was transmitted to us. These words recited some 2,000 years ago by the leaders in the ancient city of Athens, Greece, are frequently referenced by civic leaders today as a timeless code of civic responsibility. They lay out a code of compliance for those of us who have today answered the call to public service. They also instill in each and every one of us the confidence 
and the belief that at the core of our calling is the charge to protect and to serve. They also suggest a committed selflessness that puts forth first the benefit of others to the greater good of the city and not our individual best interests. Finally, they are what set us apart from the masses in that the dedication we bring to our positions of responsibility and utilitarianism will ultimately be rewarded in the quality of life we will be able to provide and in which we all will be able to live. Nowhere in that creed is it more importantly personified than in those men and women who have represented the Saginaw Police Department for decades with an unquestionable pride and distinction, unrivaled today, just as it was over 150 years ago. And while the names and faces may have changed, the challenges still remain. As I have traveled around the world carrying the message of the good things that are happening in Saginaw, Michigan, I am always quick to point out that the men and women who assist me in making Saginaw a better place are indeed the reason why it is a better place, as the code states, than it was transmitted to us. Inevitably, some always excel above others, whether it is in public safety, environmental sustainability, or community and economic development. But we are here this afternoon to recognize those special individuals who proudly wear the seal and uniform of the Saginaw Police Department and to thank them for their service. And as we give that recognition to those who are here with us today, we pause to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice in our service. In so doing, I am reminded of what Jesus said a long time ago. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. No greater recognition and promise can we give or embrace today at a time when, because of issues beyond our control, and in a world seemingly spinning in a downward spiral toward oblivion, one might wonder, is it worth it? Shouldn't I be doing something else with my life? Or quite frankly, why should I even care? Well, I would submit to you that based upon that, that promise of recognition, given in a sermon on a mountainside many years ago, long before cable news networks, long before text messages, long before the internet, and even longer than iPads, but recorded with a pen and a scroll by St. Matthew, and still here for our reading today. Every one of us today can answer those questions with an exclamation and declare, yes, it is worth it. Yes, I am called to do what I do. Yes, I care. Yes, ours is an honorable and noble profession. And with these words, we will continue to be able to make a difference. With these words, we will go forward and transform Saginaw into what it can and should be. We can and we will excel, for ours is a good work, and we do it very well. Thank you. I'd like to call Deputy Chief Brian Leip to the podium to assist in the awards presentation. And now we, we will begin the awards presentation. The award of Officer of the Year goes to Detective Andrew Carlson. Every day at work is an ordinary event for some people. For some, every day at work is a chance to demonstrate their commitment to their chosen profession. Every day at work is a chance to demonstrate their learned skill. Every day at work is a chance to demonstrate ethics, passion, and pride in the job that they do. Detective Andrew Carlson displays this, these qualities each day he comes to work. The knowledge, the integrity, and the love of the job is displayed by a smile on his face 
and a quiet attitude that he calmly displays. Your work as an investigator for the Saginaw Police Department and the citizens of Saginaw is exemplary. Your performance above and beyond the normal call of duty is a credit to the Saginaw Police Department and the city of Saginaw, which you serve. Every day at work is not just an ordinary day for Andy when he walks through the door. Thank you. The Lifetime Meritorious Service Award is awarded to Detective Timothy Fink. Tim's career began Monday, October 7, 1991. This is the day that Timothy Fink became an officer with the Saginaw Police Department. Early on, Tim demonstrated a devotion to duty above and beyond. He quickly gained a reputation for his thoroughness and completeness in his work. As, it, as his experience grew, so did his reputation. He tried out and was appointed to the emergency services team. Again, with this assignment, his devotion was apparent. In 2004, Tim was again leading the way with the implementation of the TASER program, new technology for the department. Whether it was the patrol division or the investigation division, Tim's 20-year career was nothing but excellent in the performance of any task given or initiated. With his head held high, you can be very proud that you served the Saginaw Police Department and the citizens of Saginaw with pride, integrity, devotion to duty that was up upheld with the finest traditions of law enforcement. Thank you. Employee of the Year, Kathy Starling. Desire, willingness, ability coupled with pride of achievement are just some of the factors that Kathy Starling has exhibited since taking her position with the Saginaw Police Department. On a daily basis, she is from one end of the building to the other in a tireless effort to see that the work gets done in a proper manner. Her technical expertise is second to none her infectious smile and her cheerful attitude make her a joy to work with. Her willingness to work extra hours with the same attitude is remarkable. <coughs> Often she is in her office well before her appointed starting time and still working past her quitting time. This is her norm, not the exception. You can be proud of your accomplishments. You are an asset and a credit to the department and the city which you serve. Thank you. The Exceptional Performance Award, Officer Anthony Taniyuki, Officer Doug Jordan. On or about 0338 hours on July 17, 2011, officers responded to a report of a shooting at 1523 South Michigan. The scene is outside a notorious after hours club. Officer Taniyuki and Officer Doug Jordan arrived to find complete chaos. A large group of people and a crime scene that was unattendable. They found two people who had suffered gunshot wounds. One was unresponsive. Despite, their complete, dis, despite the complete chaos, the growing crowd, these officers performed CPR on the unresponsive victim. Officer Tenyuki and Officer Jordan alternated doing CPR until ambulance crews arrived and took over. The crowd was growing larger and more officers were needed to control the crowd. Despite the conditions, Officer Tenyuki and Officer Jordan used sound judgment, relied on their training, and were able to save critical ev evidence. Their efforts were in the best traditions of law enforcement. These officers are a credit to the Saginaw Police Department and the community in which they serve. Thank you.
Exceptional Performance Award, Officer Nathan Volker. Human interaction is a learned trait. Some officers excel at it. Officer Nathan Volker has demonstrated this fact. While newly assigned to the community policing section, Officer Volker quickly gained the confidence of the residents in his assigned area. Because of this trust, information was provided to him about a house whose occupants were stockpiling weapons, were planning an attack, and others they believed were going to attack them. Based on this information, also Volker was able to get a search warrant issued for spe at a specific location. As a result of this, arrests were made and several firearms were recovered. This action, no doubt, saved the lives of others, stopped senseless violence in our community. Officer Volker was displayed the highest level of professionalism in his ability to gain the confidence of the residents that he serves. Officer Volker, you are a credit to the Saginaw Police Department and the community in which you serve. Thank you. Officer Kyle Brandon, Exceptional Performance Award. Opportunity presents itself often, occasionally, or hardly ever. Officer Kyle Brandon, new to the Saginaw Police Department, but not new to law enforcement, seized the moment when opportunity presented itself. On or about February 23, 2012, Officer Brandon was in the field training officers program with an experienced officer. Information had developed about a suspected drug house. The two officers set up surveillance on the suspected house and put more information together. Over the course of time, Officer Brandon had completed his FTO training and was now working on his own. He never forgot the incident and kept up the surveillance on his own. Having observed a vehicle leave the suspected drug house, he followed it and observed a traffic violation was able to stop the vehicle and found drugs in the vehicle. Officer Brandon was able to turn the driver over to investigations where they were able to turn it into a search warrant, execute the same, and make arrest, thus closing down a drug house in a residential area. Officer Brandon's initiative is outstanding. His ability to turn opportunity into a positive outcome for the Saginaw community that he serves as exemplary. Officer Brandon is a credit to the Saginaw Police Department and the community in which he serves. <laughs> the following civilian citation is awarded posthumously to Sean Michael Stennett. On or about 02.30 a.m. on December 2nd, 2010, Sean Michael Stennett was visiting his friend Katie Allen. There was a knock at the door. As Katie attempted to look out, Sean, without regard for his own safety, instinctively pushed Katie away, placing himself between Katie and the door. Several shots then rang out. Bullets penetrated the door. Several, Sean was struck several times, causing a fatal wound. John verse 13 tells us, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for a friend. Sean Stennett, without regard to his own safety and well-being, placed himself in harm's way and pay the ultimate sacrifice to save a friend. Greater love hath no man. Sean certainly sits at the throne of God for his actions. The family and friends of Sean certainly miss him, but have to take great pride in the fact that this young man was capable of such heroic action. Sean, rest in peace. The Saginaw Police Department is proud to recognize Sean for his actions. Sometimes these get a little difficult. 
And that certainly was the most I've ever, most difficult one I've ever presented. The commendation award presented to Reserve Officer Harry Davis and Reserve Officer Kelly Kernick. What makes people volunteer for things that go unnoticed? They don't get paid for. There's a danger element. Who knows what reasons people do things like this? Reserve Officer Harry Davis and Kelly Kernett do, do know the answer to this question. Both of these reserve officers volunteer an extremely a large amount of their personal time to the Saginaw Police Department and the citizens of Saginaw. Both of these men are dedicated, driven, and devoted to the police department. Their devotion to cause this for their cause is exemplary. The list of events and accomplishment is too long to list here. Fundraisers, events, you name it, they've done it. And they've done it with a smile. These two Saginaw Police Reserve officers serve with distinction, pride, and integrity. They are true credit to the Saginaw Police Department and their community. Thank you. Meritorious Unit Commendation, Detective Andrew Carlson, Detective Joseph Grigg, Detective Tim Fink, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Paul Furman. On or about February 19, 2011, an unknown person had fired shots into a business at 2100 West Michigan. One person was struck and killed by the shots. The case was assigned to Detective Grigg and Fink. There was little or no information to start with. By putting their heads together and using investigative technique, along with perseverance, they were able to develop information as to where hidden evidence could be found. Through the use of confidential informants, suspects were identified. It was apparent that the suspects in this case were also suspects in another case that Detective Andrew Carlson was working on. With the use of good old-fashioned legwork, teamwork and cooperation, enough evidence was put together allowing Assistant Prosecutor Paul Furman to agree to look at over the information. He, Furman, then wrote search warrants that led to the incriminating evidence that identified two suspects. The whole process took a lot of time to do. Perseverance is the best word to describe the actions of these four individuals. Dedication to duty led to the successful conclusion of this case and other related cases. Because of Detective Grigg, Carlson, Fink, and Assistant Prosecutor Furman, two people were proven guilty of murder in a court of law and will spend the rest of their lives in prison for these acts. Detective Grigg, Carlson, Fink, and Assistant Prosecutor Furman are credit to their community, themselves, and the agencies that employ them. Thank you. Meritorious Unit Commendation, Officer Scott Bickle, Officer Fred Mata, Officer Ben Krasminski. Officer Bickle, Mata, and Krasminski are officers who know how to make a difference. First order of business was identify a need. That need, at-risk at youth in the city. Now that that need is identified, what are we going to do about it? Next need, Whatever we will do will cost money, and how do we pay for it? This is an extremely high mountain to climb in today's world. Fortunately, no one told these three this. They went to work. They recruited at-risk at youth to play baseball. These three officers raised funds to pay for uniforms, equipment, and related expenses. Next, they donated eight Saturdays during the summer of 2011. They worked with the risk at-risk youth without pay or expectation. Not only did they teach them baseball, but they used their time together to teach positive life skills, respect, responsibility, teamwork, and leadership. Law enforcement is not a job to these three. It's a passion, a duty, 
and a real desire to make a difference. Officer Bickel, Mata, Krzminski, you are a credit to your fellow man, the Saginaw Police Department, and the community to which you serve. Thank you. Hey, you stay up here. Meritor Unis Commendation, Officer Scott Bickel, Officer Ben Krinsmiski, Officer Freddie Mata, Officer Reggie Williams. Patrol Officer Scott Bickel, Fred Mata, Ben Krinsmiski, and Reggie Williams distinguished themselves in the performance of outstanding duties while assigned as community police officers from June through August 2011. This important endeavor, which was self-initiated by these officers, was aimed at preventing bullying in our schools. The officers took it upon themselves to get the proper training. They then developed a program tailored for the city of Saginaw schools. With the cooperation of the Saginaw Board of Education, the officers were able to get their program into six schools. The impact of this program is immeasurable. Feedback from those involved has been extremely positive. This distinctive accomplishment of these four officers reflect great credit upon themselves and the Saginaw Police Department. Thank you. <laughs> Meritorious Unit Commendation, Lieutenant Dave Konjorski. Sergeant Michael East, Sergeant Christine Chambers, Officer Jared Atha, Officer Addison Burton, Officer Patrick Bush, Officer Brad Hope, Officer Nick Jacobs, Officer Lawrence Kehoe, Officer Diane Meeleader, Officer Nick Olivo, Officer Steve McFadden, Officer James Walney, Officer Brian Wilson, Officer Ashley Harkins, Officer Jonathan Byerline, Officer Dave Rocha, Officer Eric Skabardis, Officer Richard Thompson. For outstanding performance of duty during the period of November 20th, 2011 through February 20th, 2012. Day Shift A and Umbrella A, along with the Safe Streets Investigator, performed their duties with ex, ex above expectation with professionalism. Day Shift A officers Atha, Burton, Bush, Hope, Jacobs, Kehoe, McFadden, Meeleader, Olivo, Thompson, Walney, Wilson, Sergeant Chambers, Sergeant East, and Lieutenant Konjorski. Umbrella Shift A, Officer Byerline, Harkins, and Rocha, along with Safe Streets Detective Scobardis, you are to be commended for actions on so many complaints that in the near impossible to list them. From shootings to assaults to several homicides, the level of professionalism displayed has reflected greatly upon the Saginaw Police Department. Your ability to function as a team is exemplary. The number of arrests and the number of complaints closed was phenomenal. The unit reflects a level of professionalism, a devotion to duty that is simply outstanding. All of you should be extremely proud to be called police officers. Your department and community are proud of you. Thank you. Officer Anthony Teniyuki, Meritorious Service Award. On or about November 7th, 2011, at 11.39 p.m., Officer Anthony Teniyuki 
distinguished himself in the performance of outstanding service to the citizens of Saginaw, Michigan, while assigned to 2nd Shift Patrol Division, Saginaw Police Department. After a quick succession of armed robberies, Officer Taniyuki was able to locate three suspects who matched the description of given suspects. Upon his approach, the three fled on foot. Officer Taniyuki quickly captured one of the suspects using superior police techniques. One of the suspects was secured. He returned to the pursuit of the others. The other two suspects were located in the lower level of a parking ramp. These two were also arrested and evidence critical to the prosecution was recovered. Officer Taniyuki's distinctive accomplishments reflect great credit on himself, the Saginaw Police Department, and the community in which he serves. Thank you. What is superior police techniques? <laughs> Makes me wonder. <laughs> Meritorious Service Award, Officer Kip Humpert, Officer Adam Nofeltler. August 1st, 2010, at 4.46 p.m., a person was shot and killed in the 200 block of West Genesee, Saginaw, Michigan. A description of the suspect's vehicle was broadcast through Central Dispatch. Officer Kip Humpert of the Carlton Police Department and Officer Adam no Felter, no Helfer were in the 700 block of Weiss. They observed the suspect vehicle traveling west on West Michigan. As they initiated pursuit, the suspect vehicle increased speed in an attempt to evade the officers. After a short chase, the suspect stopped and fled on foot. The two officers observed the suspect throw a weapon from the vehicle. Officer no Feltler secured the weapons and preserved them in a manner that allowed DNA evidence to be collected. Officer Humpert continued the foot pursuit and was able to apprehend one of the suspects. These two officers relied on police training to aid them in their preservation of evidence and preservation of the vehicle recovered. Your testimony in court of law proved critical in gaining a murder conviction. Officer Kip Humpert and Adam Nofeller, you are exhibit of level of competence and professionalism that any community would be proud to have you as a police officer. You too are definitely an asset to the communities in which you serve. Thank you. Meritorious Service Award, Juanita Escrito. Juanita has worked for the Saginaw Police Department since December 1999. Juanita has worked many positions within the police department and has ex excelled at every assignment she has been appointed to. She is always pleasant and takes all assignments with enthusiasm and dedication. From January 13, 2012 through the present date, Juanita has performed duties in an outstanding manner as an administrative professional assigned to the Office of Chief of Police. Stepping into a recently vacated position, you had to learn the entire administration operations of the police department, as well as the interaction with other divisions of city government and the general public. You have performed your duties with a warm smile and a fantastically positive attitude. Your performance in this capacity can only be described as outstanding. Juanita, you are a credit to the Saginaw Police Department and the city in which you serve. Thank you. I would like to thank everybody for coming and I would now ask that you join us outside in the Memorial Plaza as we pay our respects to fallen officers. Thank you. Thank you.